Hello and welcome back everyone to Vuperio, which we've been developing for a while. Last time we went ahead, and if I go on Vuper.io, we made it so that we could punch things and break trees down into logs, which is pretty cool. I also improved the water and stuff recently because I thought that it would uh, look much better. Um, so if we go ahead and punch down a tree, your music is super loud. Yeah, I agree. It really is. Let's go ahead and turn that down. Okay. Let's see if let's see if 45 decibels down is good. Okay. So let's punch this down and not kill that. Okay. So when we punch it down, we get the 10 logs from it. Um, but there's actually there's a lot of things at play behind the scenes here that are happening at the same time. Um, and it's really important to, uh, be able to see that. So when the tree breaks, it actually gets the item data from the item stack, puts it into another prefab, which is referred to as an item object. And then the item object checks if a player hits it. And if the player hits it, it adds it to the inventory, which I had to write a new script so that the inventory would, uh, properly pick things up and put it into the next free slot or add it onto a slot if it already had the same item type. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff, but we have a bug. We have a bug. We need basic saving now because if I I'll actually show you guys the error because this error is actually uh, This is really interesting because this is one of the things when you're programming something and you don't think about the ramifications of what you add So when we unload a chunk, you're gonna notice. Let's go over to the player When we unload a chunk The trees are gonna just disappear. They get unloaded but the issue is, if we're unloading the trees, that means that Chunk keeps track of all of its trees, right? So if we go to this tree and we punch it down, so we're punching it down. Look at those particle effects, which don't actually work on um, the website. So to put this into simple terms, which you will all understand, when we break the tree, it deletes the tree object, right? But when we walk out of a chunk, it also tries to delete the tree object. So if the tree object is already deleted, and then we walk away, here's where it is. So once that unloads, uh-oh, we're throwing a null reference exception. Null means that we're, we're trying to act on something that something doesn't exist because we deleted the tree. So the tree doesn't exist, it throws an error. So we need to let the chunk know when we have destroyed a tree. And what that means is we have to actually save that. We have to save that data, which means that this gets a little bit more complicated. We're going to be using a package called Newtonsoft JSON because JSON is a great way to save files. Okay, so I know what we're gonna do. This is how we're gonna do it. Ready? So we are going to add, we're going to add something here that's going to be public bool modified. And that'll be true if it is destroyed or modified or whatever. Um, but the important thing is that we can save everything about it now. So what we're gonna do is private float health. Now we have to start getting a little bit fancy. We're gonna do using, uh, using newtonsoft.json because we're creating a JSON file. And then I think we also have to do using newtonsoft.json dot something else. Uh, I think it's actually link. Now let me see if this is correct. We should be able to do JSON proper. Oh, nice. Okay. So this is, I love doing this. Um, so remember back in that file I was using for Discord, if we go back to Silly's data, remember how it says username, Silly possibility? Well, this thing here, that's what we're saying. We're saying what to name it, and then the data will be right after it. So we're going to name it health, and it's going to have the health after it. Um, we don't need to save this. 
This is going to have to be saved just in case we ever add more worlds in the future. Um, actually, no, that doesn't have to be saved because it'll know when it's generated anyways. Modified is also going to have to be saved. Modified. So the things that are saved, we'll move them next to each other just to be cleaner. Uh, and we'll do saved JSON properties. It's rough. Because it, it deserializes it directly into... Uh... Oh no, this is what we need. It just, it just turns it into an object. Oh, you know what? This, this, this is probably not, this is probably not okay to do. I don't know. Uh, this, <laughs> this is probably frowned upon, but I, I can just do public list object. <laughs> and so that you can literally put anything in. Um, oh God. Save, save data. That hurts. That hurts a little bit to do. Um... Ooh, uh, list of data, of JSON data to be saved. <sighs> yeah, I know, I know doing generics, but that's, object is super generic. Like, you can't get any more generic than object. There's only a few things that aren't really objects. <laughs> um... I just was hoping there was something a little bit more specific I could have done so that I wouldn't confuse myself in the future. Like, I guess it doesn't matter how I code it if I'm the one, only one doing it. Um, On entity destroyed. So when the entity is destroyed, we're going to serialize the data. So... That's going to be the fun part. Object, object, serialized, entity, equals JSON, serializer, dot. Okay, so this, this is the weird one. Because I, I know there was something I was having the same problem when I was doing the other thing. So what's the difference? What is the difference? JSON convert. Oh! 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 I am triple dumb. Okay, I am triple dumb because I never had to do this in the first place, which means I can get rid of the to do. Wow, I did it. No more to do. There's a different way to do this. We can do the static class JSON convert. And we can do dot serialize object, and then we can throw entity in, and that'll serialize it into a string. That will turn it into a string. Okay. Okay, that works. I am happy to switch this to a list of strings, which I thought it would be anyway, so that's fantastic. Great. As Okay, so I've got a plan. It's gonna, it's gonna have to, okay. I, I know what it's gonna have to do, I just don't like it. Um. Okay. I can automate this, actually. I can automate it so that it does it itself and I don't have to ever look at it again. So we're gonna do public static dictionary string entity entity lookup equals new boop doop and that's static uh maps strings to entity value okay um and then what we're gonna do is when it's initialized nope it can't be when it's initialized it has to be when the This sucks. This really sucks. Um. The 
it's it's gonna have to be done by hand. I don't like having to do things by hand. I really don't like having to do it by hand. That's that's really unfortunate. Um, so that's sad. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to register all the entities before the game starts. I didn't want to have to do that, but it's gonna have to be done. Um. So public static void register entity, and then we'll do entity e, and this will just registers the entity. Uh, I don't like overcomplicating things, but sometimes you just have to. Uh, entity lookup dot add e dot get name e and then inside of when the game starts it's going to have to public static void build entities and it's going to have to register every single one registers every entity and we're gonna have to do register entity new entity oh we can't do new entity tree can we because it's a mono behavior and you can't create a mono behavior using new why this is trash. This is actually trash. I don't like this. Um. Plan Z. We're going to switch get name because it shouldn't ever change to public static virtual string get name. You can't override a static. Okay, no, then we're not doing that. Um, How are we gonna do this? Because the name can change, so we don't want that. Oh, this sucks. Um, there's a few ways to do this. However, none of them are good. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of any of the ways of doing this. But we're going to have to find a way. So, we have to find a way to get a static... A name from a static reference, which means that we're going to have to instantiate one... Or we do what we're not supposed to there. Um, register entity. You know what? Whatever. Yell at me all you want, Unity. I will create the entity tree like that. It's dumb. It's kind of terrible, but whatever. Good enough. Um, now when we save... On entity destroy it, we serialize it, and we actually do save data dot add, and we add that. And now we, when we load data, we're going to create our list of entities and then we're gonna do for each string name in for each string data in save data this is going to have to be Entity save data. 
and this actually has to be changed as well. This has to be entity save data data equals new entity save data entity and then we're gonna save that not the entity itself and why doesn't it exist because we renamed it that's why so we're gonna do entity save data dot add we're gonna add it to the list and then inside of here we're gonna do in entity save data and then we're gonna do entity save data data equals json convert dot deserialize object and we're gonna deserialize the data right right <laughs> Uh, we're gonna deserialize. Oh, we're gonna call this string saved. So we're gonna deserialize the saved stuff, and we're probably gonna have to convert it. Yep, we're gonna have to convert it to the correct thing, which is gonna be entity save data. And now we're gonna do is if we do data dot data dot unfortunately i did a bad here as well and this should be public and this should be public okay oh my god looking good looking good okay well we're about halfway to a saving and loading system. I mean, trying our best here. <laughs> trying our best. So thank you all for watching. Um, we're getting a bit closer to our goal, which is a playable game. And uh, hopefully I can come up with some creative solutions to get us there faster. Hail Vuperia, I'll see you all next time. Bye!